Hi everyone. Today in this video we are going to discuss about nitroglycerin. What is this drug nitroglycerin? The prefix nitro indicates this drug is having the nitro groups and chemically this drug belongs to organic nitrates commonly called as nitrates and they are organic in nature and this nitroglycerin is made up of glycerin structure with three nitro groups so it's also called as glyceryl trinitrate commonly denoted as GTN. This nitroglycerin is useful both in the treatment as well as prophylaxis of anxena and particularly for acute treatment this nitroglycerin is highly useful because it is having a fast onset of action. But at the same time this drug has short duration of action so drug should be administered frequently in order to reduce the symptoms produced in the angina. And particularly nitroglycerin acts as a vasodilator and it produces both arterial as well as venular vasodilatation. That's why this drug can reduce both preload as well as afterload. And when this preload and afterload are reduced, it reduces the cardiac work, thereby cardiac oxygen consumption is going to be reduced. In this way, nitroglycerin reduces the cardiac oxygen demand, but at the same time it produces coronary vasodilatation thereby it increase the coronary oxygen supply. In this way nitroglycerin can decrease the demand as well as increase the supply of oxygen in the case of angina. So today in this video we are going to see how this nitroglycerin acts, what are the precautions and contraindications of this drug we will discuss in this video. So first of all let us see the chemical nature of this drug. This is a simple structure. You can observe it is having the three carbons. So this is the nitroglycerin and here this carbon chain is made up of glycerin. So within the nitroglycerin we can observe the nitro groups are attached at the three positions. So these nitro groups are going to be produced by reaction of nitric acid with glycerin. So nitroglycerin is just like an ester formed from glycerin as well as nitric acid. And since it is made up of the glycerin with three nitro groups, nitroglycerin is also called as glyceryl trinitrate. Now let us see how this drug acts. The action of nitroglycerin mainly depends on the release of nitric oxide. So within the mitochondria of the cell, the nitric oxide is going to be released from the nitroglycerin. So this is the structure of nitroglycerin also known as GTN. Now this structure is going to be reduced such that it can be converted into 1,2-dinitroglycerin which is also called as 1,2-glyceryl dinitrate. Along with this, nitrate anion is going to be released. This crucial step is mediated by one of the enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme within the mitochondria. Now this aldehyde dehydrogenase is going to supply the hydrogens for reduction reaction where it is going to be oxidized to produce a disulfide bridge of the enzyme. In this way, aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme is responsible for the reduction of glyceryl trinitrate such that it is going to release the nitrate anion and from this nitrate anion the nitric oxide can be released. Then this nitric oxide plays a key role in vasodilatation thereby reduce the cardiac work as well as increase the cardiac oxygen supply and it relieves the symptoms of angina. That's why nitroglycerin can show some tolerance when it is used repeatedly because of depletion of free thiol groups which are required for reduction of nitroglycerin. So within the cell myosin light chain kinase is one of the precursor enzyme which is going to be activated to MLCK active form. This activation is mediated by calcium calmodulin complex. Once this MLCK is going to be activated it can act on its target MLC myosin light chain now this MLCK which is a phosphorylating enzyme it can act on the MLC such that now this myosin light chains are converted into phosphorylated form MLC phosphate. Now within this phosphorylated form MLC phosphate can interact with the actin they can slide on each other and they can form actomyosin complex which is responsible for contraction of the smooth muscle. In this way MLCK is required for contraction of the smooth muscle but this contractal mechanism is going to be inhibited by nitroglycerin. So glyceryl trinitrate is going to enter into the cell where it is going to release the nitric oxide within the mitochondria. 
Now this glycerol trinitrate can be converted into free nitric oxide by the enzyme aldehyde dehydrogenase and this nitric oxide then activates soluble garnel cyclase system. This GC when it is going to be activated it can interact with the GTP. So GTP can interact with the GC such that it can be converted into cyclic GMP. Now this cyclic GMP can again interact with the MLCK in opposite way. Now this MLCK instead of activation it is going to be phosphorylated to MLCK phosphate form by the cyclic GMP. This MLCK phosphate is the inactive form of this enzyme. So when this enzyme is inactivated it can inhibit the contractile mechanism within the smooth muscle. So this results in the inhibition of contraction leading to relaxation of the smooth muscle. In this way nitroglycerin can produce the relaxation of the smooth muscle resulting in vasodilatation thereby it can reduce the preload afterload and it can also reduce the cardiac work and increase the coronary oxygen supply. So nitroglycerin produce the vasodilatation of both systemic blood vessels as well as coronary blood vessels. What are the precautions? One of the important precautions of nitroglycerin is that this drug is a vasodilator so it can produce some severe hypotension in the patients. It can produce few of the symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, paleness of the skin, weakness, sweating and syncope can be observed. So whenever this nitroglycerin is given a sudden fall in the blood pressure may be observed which may lead to the falling sensation and it can also produce some bradycardia which is a paradoxical action of nitroglycerin. But when this severe hypotension is untreated it can stimulate the heart and it can produce some tachycardia by reflex mechanism. So this severe hypotension is one of the important precautions that should be considered when this nitroglycerin is given to the patients. And if patient is already having any volume depletion or hypotensive stays, then this nitroglycerin should be carefully administered. Similarly, nitroglycerin produces a vasodilatation. This vasodilatation can be observed both peripherally as well as centrally. So nitroglycerin can produce some cranial vasodilatation. Because of this cranial vasodilatation, nitroglycerin can produce some thrombing headache in the patients. So headache is one of the important symptoms that can be observed with this nitroglycerin because of cranial vasodilatation. And particularly this headache is increased with increased dose of the nitroglycerin. That's why this drug should be used at a low dose and possibly to a smaller duration. Otherwise it can produce thrombing headache in the patients. Similarly another important precaution of nitroglycerin is the development of tolerance. This tolerance is going to be developed by repeated administration of the drug. Even at a high dose we can observe the tolerance and tolerance is the reduced pharmacological response of this nitroglycerin. As we have discussed earlier the tolerance may be developed due to improper release of the nitric oxide from the nitroglycerin due to depletion of free thiol groups or alteration of the cyclic GMP. Any of these can produce some tolerance because of the repeated administration of the nitroglycerin. That's why this tolerance can be minimized by nitrate free interval. So this nitrate free interval can reduce the tolerance and when this nitrate free interval is maintained at 10 to 12 hours the tolerance can be minimized. But during this nitrate free interval there may be an increased attack of the angina in the patients. Otherwise at the end of this nitrate free interval there may be decreased exercise tolerance in the patients. So again this should be closely monitored and precaution should be taken in order to reduce the and general attack in the patients. Another important precaution of nitroglycerin is that this drug can increase the hypertrophy of cardiac muscle. So wall of this ventricular muscle may be thickened. It can be converted into like this where it reduces the filling of the blood and this results in the decreased blood filling of ventricles as well as it increases the obstruction within the blood flow which may lead to precipitation of hypertrophic cardiomyopathy commonly known as HCM. So in this condition the blood flow from the heart is going to be reduced and particularly there is an obstruction in the blood flow within the ventricles which may further increase the angina attack in the patients. Again this is another pre important precaution even the nitroglycerin reduce the angina but whenever it increase the hypertrophy of cardiac muscle it may further increase the angina because of obstruction of the blood flow. Now let us see the contraindications of nitroglycerin. 
Nitroglycerin is a vasodilator, so it produces vasodilatation. So this drug should be carefully given with other drugs which produce vasodilatation. Among these, one of the important drugs which are contraindicated are the drugs like sildenafil, tadalafil, vadinafil, all these drugs ending with the suffix ephil, they are phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors which are used to treat the erectile dysfunction. So these drugs can also produce a vasodilatation. When these drugs are combined with nitroglycerin, they can produce severe vasodilatation resulting in severe hypotension, resulting in syncope or even myocardial ischemia, which is fatal to the patients. That's why nitroglycerin is contraindicated with phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors. Similarly, nitroglycerin can also produce the oxidation of hemoglobin to produce methemoglobin. And methemoglobin is not a better carrier for the oxygen. Because of this, nitroglycerin can reduce the oxygen carrying capacity of hemoglobin, thereby it can precipitate the anemia in the patients. So if a patient already having a severe anemia, nitroglycerin should be contraindicated because of increased formation of methemoglobin. Similarly, nitroglycerin is contraindicated in patients who are having intracranial pressure because this drug is going to increase the intracranial pressure due to the increased cerebral blood volume. Similarly, this drug is contraindicated in the patients who are having circulatory failure or shock conditions because this drug produces vasodilatation which further increases the circulatory failure and circulatory collapse. Similarly, nitroglycerin is also contraindicated in the patients who are developing the hypersensitivity towards this drug. What are the side effects? The side effects of nitroglycerin are mainly related with vasodilatory actions. It can produce some headache, dizziness, drowsiness, flushing. All these are related to vasodilatation produced by nitroglycerin. And it can also produce nausea and vomiting, paresthesia, loss of sensation. All these are the important side effects of nitroglycerin. And because of this vasodilatation, it produces severe hypotension. And whenever this hypotension is observed, it can produce some tachycardia by reflex mechanism. How it is given? This drug is available in the different doses forms. It is available as a sublingual tablet, sublingual powder. Particularly, this nitroglycerin is having the high first pass metabolism. That's why it is given by sublingual or buccal root such that the first pass metabolism can be eliminated. It is also available as a transdermal patch, metered aerosol spray, IV solution, even capsule form. In all these doses forms, nitroglycerin is available. Even it is available as extended release tablet. The initial dose of the drug depends on the type of doses form. Generally, the initial dose is variable from 0.3 to 0.6 mg. Whenever the symptoms of angina such as chest pain is observed, one dose of nitroglycerin can be taken. And dose can be repeated for every 5 minutes because of its short duration of action. But within 15 minutes, the maximum dose is only 3 dose of the nitroglycerin. Since this nitroglycerin is having the fast onset of action but short duration of action, the drug should be given to relieve the symptoms in the angina. So whenever chest pain, chest congestion is observed in the patients who are having the angina, this drug can be administered to reduce the symptoms. So that's about this nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin is an organic nitrate. It's also called as glyceryl trinitrate, GTN. This drug mainly acts as a vasodilator. It reduces the preload, afterload, thereby it reduces the cardiac work and cardiac oxygen demand. At the same time, it also increases the coronary vasodilatation, resulting in the increased oxygen supply to the cardiac muscle. This drug mainly acts by release of nitric oxide. For this, within the smooth muscle, the mitochondrial aldehyde dehydrogenase enzyme is mainly responsible, which is releasing the nitric oxide from this glyceryl trinitrate. Once this nitric oxide is released, it can activate the gonial cyclic system, thereby it can convert the GTP into cyclic GMP. And this cyclic GMP will inactivate the MLCK by phosphorylation. So MLC is converted to MLC phosphate, the inactive form, thereby contraction is inhibited, resulting in relaxation of the smooth muscle. This nitroglycerin is having the fast onset of action, but short duration of action. Even this drug can produce some tolerance by repeated administration due to depletion of free thiol groups. 
are due to altered GC activity. Headache, hypotension, dizziness, drowsiness, flushing are important side effects of this nitroglycerin. So this drug should be carefully given in the patients who are having hypotension. And this drug is contraindicated with the phosphodiesterase type 5 inhibitors as well as in the patients who are having the circulatory failure, shock, severe anemia and raised intracranial pressure. So that's about this drug. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.